The Spyderco All Blackout Yojumbo with DLC finish, hardware, liners, compression lock, everything. Just like the new pair of three, you know, paramilitary two, they're all going to be coming with the blacked out liners and the compression lock, you know. So I didn't, I said I didn't really care much about it until I got that last pair of three, the crew wear knife center version. I really like it. But uh, this is what people were asking for, you know, Spider Crow always delivers. It is skeletonized inside there. It's a big knife. I couldn't get my printer to print out. I printed out one page and then it stops. I don't know what's going on with my phone. But it is, it's, it's a big knife, it's a, almost nine and a half inches, it's almost got a four inch, you know, cutting edge on it. There's no choil, which is awesome. So they're, they've dropped, they're 199.50. You know, they are at, this is National Knives, they were in stock, there's a bunch of places, Knife Center, I think Blade HQ's already sold out. So, um, I don't know if you could see the texture on the G10 is is a lot more coarse, almost like cold steel. Now this is the you know the standard Yojimbo. You can see the size difference of it. Now, I was explaining I've been carrying this now. It's been a user, and it is kind of weird for my hand. It's kind of small in this dimension for me. It just feels weird when I'm handling it because my hands are so long. You know, it's usable, but uh, I bought this to be a user and I think I'm going to like it a lot more just because how big the handle is. It just, everything about it, you know, just feels better so far. I'm going to put a deep carry clip on there. And I wanted to show uh, on my skate, my uh, little scale here was going freaky, I think, because it was on this pad, it was giving false weights. So it's actually not bad. It says, it, you know, advertise 5.10. The, obviously the Native Chief is pretty lightweight. It's 3.95. And then the Manix 2 XL, this is with the Flytanium carbon scales. I don't know if that takes much off of it. Is in that 4.95. So it's, it's in that range, 510, you know, to obviously the the Native Chief is quite a bit lighter in ounce, but, uh, you know, for that big knife. So I'll just put that up with the Native Chief. And, you know, there's no choil. So if you could see, if you like cutting edge, you know, you can actually see where it's, I don't know, half an inch to a quarter of an inch, a third of an inch longer than that. And then the Manix 2XL, same thing, you know, with the choil. The blade length's just about the same, but you're getting a longer cutter edge that's pretty straight. So there's all three of those together. By the way, I have an extra one of these uh, native chiefs I'm going to try to trade away on uh, blade forms. If anybody's interested in the channel, just let me know. I'd sell it to whatever... Uh, I think it was 171.50. The uh, I would sell it for that, you know, whatever I paid for it. The Native Chief uh, Rex 45 Sprint. So uh, I had a subscriber send me a package, completely unsolicited. You know, really nice guy's name's Patrick. We have similar issues with our health, and uh, he had. I've been gone, so I've been seeing my granddaughters a lot out of, out of state. And he had sent this package along. I didn't even know they made stuff like this. But like leather goods. It looks like a coaster with the Spyderco knife. There's two of them. You, know, you can see they're kind of unique. Each one's going to be a little unique even though it's the same pattern. Just really awesome since I'm a Spyderco fanatic. He sent this uh, Hank. I'm assuming this is for, you know, in video. I don't really know what you use a Hank for. I'm not up on all the new, you know, knife lingo and what you're supposed to do with these things. But... I think it's obviously pretty awesome. And then he sent this coin with this slip. Also, it looks like from the same leather company. It says B. Weiss leather. So I'll throw them up there. You know, it says Instagram, email, and website. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, this slip's kind of cool because it fits this coin. I'm not sure what these coins are all about. Uh, what the funny part is, he had sent me this, and it is beautifully made. I don't know if you could see it. 
very intricate colors. And it says the Millie PM2 and Para 3 Club. You know, I have seen a couple of videos from those. I don't know if they're affiliated with uh, River's Edge Cutlery or not, but really a neat thing and it fits in this slip. I, and just a coincidence, when I ordered this, I got this from, you know, in the box from Spartaco. It says never give up, never back up, never back down. Support our military and law enforcement. Kind of a cool little thing. It came in this little package. So if you're interested, you know you can also see the G10 on this is completely different. It's more cold steel. I don't know if I'm going to sand this down a little bit under the clip. Try it out first, see how it goes in and out of the pocket. But uh, there's a pretty good difference in how coarse. I don't know if you can see that in the in the camera. This G10 is, and I'm assuming since it's you know mainly a self-defense knife, that's why they're doing that. You know Michael Janich's design. You can see it's almost just a carbon copy, except it's just been scaled up. These are really good EDC knives. I mean, better than I thought they were going to be. These things are just slicing fools. It does have a very strong detent. This one did too, which I loosened up a little bit, but the blade still can't be shaken out. This one I can shake out if I really, I was doing it before on the camera, it's as hard at this angle. I mean, the detent's really good, but if, if you have a weak finger, you know, you're gonna have a hard time flicking it out if that's your thing. It's not designed for that, it rolls out perfect. But because it's such a big blade, it does have a pretty stiff detent on it for flicking, if your finger's not that strong. I think I even did it left-handed, yeah, it came out. It's just hard to do on camera because the knife's so big. So the Yojumbo all blacked out version, it is available now. It is a great EDC knife, and if you're into the martial arts and all that, you know, I'm sure you can use it for a self-defense also. I'm just very impressed with the cutting edge of these of, of the Yojimbo, and that's why I bought this. This knife just is a beast in cutting task. I think I've already rounded down the tip a little bit, which I think is going to be normal. The way you're cutting, the way the leverage is being put, put on that point, but no worries. So the Spyderco Yojumbo all blacked out. DLC available now. Hope everybody's well. Take care of yourself.